Hi, this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne, and uh, this is a prophecy for Jonathan. And uh, just before I start, um, I'll dedicate this to the Lord. So, dear Father, I pray that uh, you give me the words to say to Jonathan, words to encourage, to inspire, to lift up, and uh, bless uh, Jonathan, and lead him um, in the direction he needs to go. Uh, in Jesus' name, Amen. Um, I see, uh, first of all, I see a picture of like a university um, lecture hall. And I see you at the podium of this lecture hall. And most of the time, sometimes uh, you get visions and you've got to... Um, uh, describe them, they actually mean something symbolically. Sometimes I'll get a vision and it'll represent something that's going to happen. And I feel um, at some stage uh, in uh, your, your life, uh, you're going to get the opportunity to uh, share and teach in a university. Um, uh, you may even uh, be invited uh, to preach in a university and uh, have university students and faculty come along to what you say. But I definitely see you in a lecture hall uh, in a university, um, speaking to like a raised platform of people in the audience. So that's the first impression. Um, I also uh, get, you, get a picture of uh, you uh, driving a bus and uh, the bus uh, is going on a journey and I feel that that demonstrates uh, the fact that uh, you're going to be a leader and you're going to take a group of people on a journey and um, that could even be uh, in the role of, of a pastor uh, where uh, you've got a church and uh, that you're responsible for and uh, you take uh, the whole congregation on a journey with you uh, in Christ uh, to, to learn things and uh, take them in the direction of the life that uh, God wants to lead them on. So I get this picture of a bus driver. Um, uh, at one, some stage you were just uh, one of the people on the bus, but um, you learned... Uh, you learnt uh, and was fascinated with the teaching role and the preaching role of the bus uh, driver, of a preacher, and uh, you've uh, been encouraged to um, become uh, someone who's a leader, who's going to uh, lead people in the way of Christ and, and teach them uh, things, the intimate things of Christ. Um, I feel that um, you're different uh, to, your, uh, I think it's your sister Farah, uh, you're different to Farah that you're more outgoing and uh, what you see is what you get uh, with you. You're, you're not a person who really uh, enjoys wearing masks or faces. Um, you don't uh, put on uh, fancy faces or uh, fancy uh, demonstrations of yourself, uh, you know, to cloak yourself or hide yourself according to who you meet. Um, you're pretty much who you are with everyone that you meet and uh, you're very uh, outgoing and, uh, and sincere and open. Um, you do have uh, people that you relegate into a relationship where um, they're close to you, and um, but uh, every person gets treated with dignity and respect and love and grace. Uh, you're very open and encouraging uh, to everyone that you meet. Um, you really are uh, got this uh, soft heart and this uh, delicate heart when it comes to God, and uh, you've got this uh, deeply personal faith that you have um, with, uh, with God and uh, y you wish, uh, like myself, um, 
you wish that you could just show people the God that you know, uh, that you could just uh, make a one-hour video or, um, or a series of videos that would teach people how to know God like you know God and uh, how to be comfortable. Um, you seem to have a good mother because, uh, you know, when I prophesied over Farah and uh, I prophesied over you, um, I, it might be your mother, it could be, uh, I, I don't know all the people she uh, sent to uh, have a prophecy, but, um, but uh, uh, you, you, like Farah, have got a strong foundation of knowing who you are and uh, and that you're loved and uh, and you're very uh, confident in your faith. Um, you're a person who is hungry, uh, who who uh, thirsts for more information. Um, you're a person who uh, seeks further information and uh, is not content just to be stationary in their faith but is always pushing and always moving on and always uh, challenging yourself uh, to know more, to grow more, to assimilate more, to process more, to develop uh, in, um, in depth and in the depth of your knowledge and the depth of your wisdom and revelation that you get. Um, you're, um, you're like like a mascot is to a team, um, it sort of brands the team and uh, encourages the team and the team are uh, represented by their mascot. You like, uh, are like a mascot for Christ. Um, you, you demonstrate Christ uh, to other people. Um, you, you like put Jesus on show. Um, you've got this uh, very um, personable um, uh, personality and, and you really are a demonstration of who a Christian is. You know, um, you're not caught up with religion, you're not bound up with religious uh, beliefs, you're not worried about who you are in Christ, you really know who you are, you're very confident of who you are and you demonstrate Christ to everyone that you meet and uh, you associate with. You just demonstrate the love and passion and grace of Christ to uh, people that you, you meet and interact with and um, that's very encouraging. Uh, uh, you don't have to worry uh, so much if it does worry you a little bit about how many people uh, you're converting and how many people you're winning to Christ. Uh, you're planting uh, very valuable seeds in people's lives that you're interacting with. Um, most people who you interact with uh, know that you're a Christian and um, and uh, if not, they they uh, like to query uh, what your stand is, and uh, you um, demonstrate Christ so efficiently that people go on and become Christians after they've met you. That you you're an example, you're a fine example of, like I said, what a Christian is. And uh, people who were turned off with religion and turned off uh, from Christianity through other people uh, can actually find hope in you and can find another reason to uh, place their belief in Jesus Christ. So um, I wouldn't worry uh, so much about uh, whether you're winning people to Christ, uh, you're a lot like me in that that um, you just demonstrate Christ so well that uh, you're just an example and other people with more of an evangelistic um, gifting uh, actually win those people to Christ later on but they would have never been won to Christ uh, if it didn't come and it didn't start and originate with them meeting you and uh, fellowshipping with you and uh, having Jesus Christ and his love and his grace demonstrated to them so effectively uh, by you. 
So I pray that that helps you. I pray that uh, you can um, uh, listen to this and uh, give me some feedback so I'll be encouraged um, and uh, pass that feedback on. If you're listening to this and uh, you're not Jonathan, um, please look in the description tag and you'll find that uh, you can write to me and request your own prophecy. God bless you, Jonathan. Amen.